Hello. Yeah, market attendance. Okay, then now then this topic is a disaster management. We discussed this the uh, scope, the introduction, definitions, and the classification types of disaster. Okay, and disaster management, disaster uh, preparedness, medical and public health response, public health impact of disaster, disaster mitigation, disaster in India, disaster management in India, safety tips in the disaster situation, and this is the reference. Okay, this is the disaster. First, you know what is the disaster management? So, first, you anyone can define the word disaster. Anyone, what is the asset management? The first disaster management can be defined as the organization and management of resources and responsibility for the dealing with all humanitarian aspects of emergencies. Okay, in the particular preparedness, response, and recovery of the order, less impact of the disaster. Okay, management is the is responsibility for dealing with all humanitarians aspect of emergency. Okay, this is the disaster management. Okay, this is the first. What is the introduction? Is the disaster management? Disaster are also are as old as mankind. Okay, and the first description of disaster and its management comes from mythological Noah and his ark. Okay, and the singular flood tells the widespread in Greek mythology. Yo, you want to say the Mesopotamia stories and many cultures. You see in the image, there's a, uh, any types of culture, this is the uh, stories of Mesopotamia. Okay. And this is the introduction of wild, uh, widespread in the Greek mythology. mythology. Okay, Unas, Mesopotamia stories, and many cultures is showing that this image in the all types of mankinds. This is the etymology originate from Greek. Disaster is the uh, dust is equal to bad as a star. Uh, this is the defense of disaster. And the calamity due to the po uh, position of a planet or a star, then involved in the Italian and this is a stroke to become the faint disaster, okay, and then disaster. Disaster and occurrence that causes damage, ecological disruption, loss of human life, okay, detrace of health and health service on a scale from the disaster, sufficient to warrant an extraordinary response from outside the affected community or area. This comes under a WHO. A disaster can be defined as an occurrence, either nature or man-made, that uh, causes human suffering and creates human needs that victim cannot elevate it without assistance. This is the American Red Cross. The definition of the disaster. So what is the first uh, comes under the disaster management? This emergency management. 
comes under the disaster so what is the emergency management anyone the emergency management is the organization and management of the resource and responsibility for dealing with all humanitarian aspects of emergency okay emergency means preparedness response mitigation and recovery the aim is to reduce the harm effect
हेलो हेलो then now this is the emergency management is the organization and management of the resources and responsibility for dealing with all humanitarian aspects okay of the emergency and the aim of the reduce the harmful effects of all hazards including disaster okay and under who the define as emergency as a state of which normal procedure are interrupted and immediate measures need to be the taken to prevent it from becoming a disaster which is even a harder harder to recover from disaster management the related to the should not be equated to the emergency management what is the emergency planning ideas okay and the health and safety of workers okay this comes under the disaster of emergency the first one is the uh, emergency planning uh, idea idea is the committee and the security risk management recognition and define of risk the ranking of evaluation of risk response uh, responding to significant risk tolerating treating uh, transferring okay this is the all are the emergency planning ideas okay hazard any phenomenon that has the potential to cause disruption or damage to people and their environment a hazard is natural event will the disaster is it consequence say hazard is perceived natural event which uh, threatens both life and property the disaster is a realization of the hazard okay and then now is the when hazard involve element of risk vulnerability and cap uh, capacities they can turn into the disaster this is the vulnerability the proper uh, propensity of the things to be say, damaged by hazard this is the capacity to cope this is the two types of capacity of course the high and low okay and this is the exposure to hazard the high and low the high is the low high and very low and low this is the vulnerability and this disaster occurs when hazards meet vulnerability this is the progression of vulnerability is at three types these root causes the anemic pressure and unsafe condition and the root causes mean uh, under the limited access to the power structure and resources and the ideological means political system economic system and okay and the dynamic pressure and the uh, local institutes training appropriate skills and local investment local market me uh, media freedom ethical standards in public life okay and the macro force the rapid population growth rapid urbanization arm expenditure the direct repayments for deforestation decline in soil productivity this is the comes under the dynamic pressure and the unsafe condition is the technical physical environment in the in two types of the dangerous location and the unprotected building and infrastructures this is comes under the unsafe condition the due to the progression of vulnerability the directly impact on the uh, infrastructures and the physical local economic livelihood at risk and low income level okay and the vulnerable society a special group of risk and public action lack of preparedness and the endemic disease and then now is the risk hazard vulnerability hazards plus vulnerability is the not prevented this for the disaster hazard the earthquake high wind horizon cyclone okay and the typhoon flood volcanic eruption landslide drop various bacteria pest fire chemical radiation and the armed conflicts this is the comes under the hazards classification of disaster this is the two types of uh, disaster this is the natural and man made the natural means the man meteorological topographical and environmental
So first, we know what is the natural disaster? Means the disaster is major adverse event resulting from a natural process of the earth. Example include first storm, dust storm, floods, hurricanes, tornadoes, volcanic eruption, earthquake, tsunami, and storms. This is the comes under the natural disaster. Okay. Natural disaster is a meteorological, topographical, and the environmental disaster. So this is the geological disasters comes under the environment. Okay, and the man-made disaster is a technological, industrial, and warfare. Okay, this is a two type of disaster: natural and man-made. Meteorological disaster means the flood, tsunami, cyclone, hurricanes, typhoon. to fall snow storm blizzard and a hail storm this is the meteorological and topographical is the earthquake volcanic eruption landslide and avalanches and the stoids and limnic eruptions and this is the environmental disaster global warming this is the very that disaster is the global warming the environmental disaster okay and the ozone depletion uv ir radiation and solar flare this is comes under the natural disaster also landslide is the uh, disaster is a natural disaster it comes under the topo topo graphical okay and then now the technological this is a man made disaster technological industrial and warfare the technological comes in a transport failure public place failure and it is fire this is the technological disaster okay and industrial disaster chemical spills radioactive spills and warfare war terrorism internal conflict and civil unrest so this is the man made disaster is the meteorological disaster you see in the are the caused by steam weather okay is there a rain draft snow steam heat or cold ice or wind and the violent sudden and destructive to the environment related to the pro, pro, uh, produced by or affecting the earth atmosphere especially the weather forming process and then the geological topographical hazard you see in the image is the meteorological disaster okay and they the geological geological and topographical hazards they include the internal earth process or the tectonic in origin such hazard include earthquake geological fault uh, active tsunamis volcanic emission etc and external process such as mass movement and that can be landslide rock slide uh, rock falls uh, avalanche avalanches surface collapse expansive swell and debris of the mud flows you see in the emails is that suddenly collapse the surface collapse and the car debris uh, of the ground level okay settle so this is the geological topographical hazards and environmental disaster is the uh, she in the emails is a good uh, disaster for global warming from the industries day to day increase the industry for directly impact on the human uh, so the human activity into the environment then uh, environmental disaster or ecological disaster is a uh, catastrophic events regarding the environment due to the human activity this distinguishes it from the concept of natural disaster okay it is also distinct from the 
international acts of war such as nuclear bomb bombing okay this is the thank you this is the next disaster then now we see in the image this is noise pollution from the uh, part of the disaster management okay then noise the noise pollution uh, comes in industrial pollution this is the noise pollution is this uh, displacing okay and the excessive noise that may disturb an activity or balance of the human or animals this is the very big issues for the uh, Impact on humans and animals is this this type of pollution created from the human activities, the day to day life in life with the um, power plants, the industry setup, the industry sound is the very big sound is the noise pollution created from the human activities. Okay, noise means the disgust or discomfort hearing from the environment. Okay, the source of noise pollution is a machines, transportation system, motor vehicles, aircraft, trains, and poor urban planning. This is the source of noise pollution. Okay, and then a specific effect of noise pollution. This is the noise pollution affect both health and behaviors. Okay, and this is the noise pollution can cause this is the anomaly aggression, high hypertension, high stress level, hearing loss, high BP, sleep disturbance, and other harmful effect. So this is the specific effect of noise pollution. This is the controlling of noise pollution. How to control the noise pollution? The government should ensure the new machine that should be noise proof. Okay, and industry should be set up outside the central area and not near schools. You see always the industrial area is the always uh, far of the cities from the schools and near the residential area. Okay, using sound absorber. Already you suppose you uh, uh, in the restaurant and the auditorium uh, hall is sound proofing material use. This is not sound is uh, out of from the room. Light pollution. This is the noise pollution effect of the daily human uh, activities. Okay, and the light pollution is the light pollution also known as photo pollution or the luminous pollution. Is the excessive misdirected or obstructive artificial light pollution is the adding of added lights itself 
in analogy to added sound carbon dioxide etc this is the light pollution okay pollutant light pollution causes is the degradation of public habitat by artificial light alternation of natural light level in the outdoor environment due to no indoor light pollution human health is compromised and the controlling light pollution excessive lighting should be avoided for lighting and applicable design should be followed okay then you control the light pollution and the light engineering should be applied for the street okay and the radioactive pollution so any one any doubt from the noise pollution and the light pollution then it should be the in showing the image is a which type of uh, vibrators vibrator is in the during the construction time okay this is a very uh, uh, noise pollution is created from this type of activities but uh, many types of uh, equipments uh, available in the market this is a silent feature silent vibrator not a clear the sound this is a government should be sure the new machine technology used in the construction site this is the vibrating machine okay the light pollution this is the controlling of light pollution this is the excessive heating it should be avoided lighting suppose should you room here yeah, suppose example is a one room is a one light but you say, set up the light two three light this is a create the pollution light pollution suppose excessive lighting is create the heat the create the heat the from the heat generate the global warming okay radioactive pollution this is the pollution caused by resultant substances from nuclear reactor and other radioactive substances this is very high radiation exposure radioactivity is a q okay this is the radioactive pollution causes effects what are causes of the radioactive pollution anyone means the radioactive pollution is the physical pollution of living organism and their environment this is the physical pollution and it resulted of release of the radioactive substances okay into the environment during nuclear explosion and testing of nuclear weapon nuclear weapon production and decommissioning and main mining of radioactive waste handling okay this is the causes and effects what is the causes of radiant pollution anyone in seeing the causes of nuclear power plants we have shown disposal of nuclear waste uranium mining the many types radioactive pollution causes and
this effects and a cancer swelling of bones joints and eye problems okay this is the effects okay and the local when there is a presence of deposition of radioactive materials in the atmosphere or environment especially where this presence in the accident of the present environmental threat and the effect cancer swelling and bone swelling and eye problems this is the effects the causes of radiative pollution the neglect resident from the nuclear energy generation plants this is from the nuclear power plants eruption okay this is the nuclear energy which is thought to be the most potent source of energy due to its high latent power reports indicate there are high latent power is due to the high level of radiation it seems that therefore prohibited but research is under way to determine its environmental safety and to put in place of the most appropriate required measure to its use okay and the use of nuclear weapon as weapons as a mass destructive the second causes use of radio stops okay the mining uh, spleases or radio chemicals Test on radiation, uh, cosmic rays, and other natural sources. Okay, nuclear waste handling and disposal. A defensive option of production. Effect of radioactive pollution. Genetic uh, mutations have adverse effect from the comes as genetic. It lead to damage to DNA standard leading to the genetic breakup over time. The degree of genetic modifications. leading to change the dna composition so this is the many fact and causes and this is soil infiltration okay cell destruction in controlling of radioactive pollution avoid constructing nuclear power plants avoiding using nuclear weapon having proper treatment for nuclear waste avoiding mining or uranium to a minimum okay and then the thermal pollution is the thermal pollution extend is extra high extra low extra hot or cold condition this is the causes and effect this is the causes and nuclear power plants volcanic eruption industries and factories and uh, forest fires and the effect discomfort death on animals and plants okay and the controlling of thermal pollution avoiding constructing nuclear power plants controlling and informing time of volcanic eruption this is a comes under the thermal pollution and the total textile process at a glance this is the cotton season one bit pre treatment goods preparation consumers this is one weaving dyeing and printing retail store this is the total textile process at a glance and the methods of minimizing and uh, eliminating waste okay and this is the method of minimizing and eliminating waste this is the why minimize waste first is why q this is the sources the sources of waste what is the sources of waste anyone can source note to treatment waste off site recycling on site recycling and disposals no waste minimization with waste minimization recycling and treatment okay and disposal with waste minimization and recycling and treatment why minimize waste okay and then the preferred area is the waste management option this is a source reduction on site off site recycling treatment you uh, in this best uh, management process uh, you uh, depend on the 3r and 5r uh, applications so what is the 3r or 5r recycle reuse and 
introduce reuse and recycles. Okay, so this is the preferred area of the risk management of the options, the source reduction, from site and offsite recycling, treatment and disposal. And the source reduction is the uh, these four types: the housekeeping improvement, product reformulation, input material alteration, uh, alteration, and technology alteration. This is source reduction. And the factory influencing waste minimization, government uh, policy and regulation, ecological feasibility, economic viability, management commitment and support. Okay, so this is the government policy and regulation, technological feasibility, feasibility viability, and management committees and support. This is a waste minimization incentives, reduce cost, raw material, energy, water, storage and handling, waste disposal, health and safety. Okay, so the reduced cost. Okay, regulatory compliance improve the efficiency, improve the co corporate image. Okay, and then all the waste management barriers, economic barrier, technical barrier, and regulatory barrier. These are three types of waste management barrier. And the waste management opportunity is applicable to all operations. This is use higher quality materials, use less toxic raw material, use non Corrosive materials convert from batch to continuous process, improve equipment instruction and maintenance, improve operator training, improve supervisions, improve housekeeping. Okay, 